So let's imagine that you do not like your template at 100%. You want to change something. So first of all, let's see this slideshow. So there's the first slide, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So this was... Okay, just wait a bit. Okay, I ah, yeah, we're going to do that. So, so, yeah, we're back. So this is what happens again. Blah 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 blah. I'm going to change this one default. So imagine that. Um, these are different because I did some manual work before. So I'm going to use default default means that uh, it is a template that is going to decide how the text is going to look like what it's going to look like so this is what we we've got this is a template and um okay i see my template and i say okay and everything is beautiful but i would like for the for the title to be not in albany 41 but i want it to be underlined and uh, green I'm not going to do it in each slide, of course. So I have to use what we call the slide master. So master is view master, slide master. It is a slide that is going to decide uh, what everything else is going to look like. So this is what we've got. Let's uh, delete everything else. Okay, so what we can do is click on this one of course and then I'm going to select the title text and I'm going to apply uh, my format so color is somewhere here reduce character font color I'm going to put in green italic and whatever um, Algerian yeah why not I wanted to, to I want it to look like that so I'm in this slide master view if I want to go back to the slides I just click on close master view and I see that it modified the title text format on every slide so I'm gonna go back master slide master and now I want to modify something else. For example, um, I'm going to have these bullets, um, yeah, look differently. So I don't, I don't want the the bullets. I want something more, yeah, fun. So I'm going to click on the first level format, bullets and numbering, and then in customize. Either I'm going to click on 110, that means that whatever I do is going to be applied on every single level, or I just want it applied to the level 1. So, level 1, numbering, I can do something like graphics from gallery, or from file, of course. Gallery, and I'm going to take yeah why not this one and I can choose the width and the height of the bullet whatever the numbering um, graphic or of course I can use um, bullet and then a different character this looks nice or I can put something like the Omega or well blah 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 something you see when you format something it takes a lot of time so you should avoid thinking now I'm going back to graphics this is why I hate formatting um, text oh, I'm sorry files so this is the, the right one okay and now I've got it like that the proof I can go back close master view and you see here everything is with the star the blue star you see here if I add something 
blue star. I'll go back so you can uh, modify the, the format here. Another thing you can do with the slide master, do not forget that the slide master is the template you're going to apply on each slide. So there are some elements that you're going to want to present on each slide. For example, uh, maybe you want to um, present, um, show, showcase your name uh, on each slide. To do that, what you can do is everything you put here on this slide is going to appear on each slide. Okay, so format, um, I think it's, yeah, to insert, sorry, page number or date and time, it doesn't matter, it's going to be the same, the same window. And you can see here three uh, text fields, it's called date, time, footer and number. So I don't need a date and time. I just need a footer and I can just write something like this and if I want I can have a slide number applied to all what I forgot is I forgot to say do not show on first slide because having the number one on the first slide is a bit weird we go and I'll close master view and as you can see I have two three four five everything is numbered and I've got this slight text here but you can see it's not readable so I can go back I'm gonna zoom a bit and here if I click in here I'm going to select this word we're going to see why you have to select the whole word because actually it's a field. Um, I've talked about it in the writer series uh, tutorials. Um, and then I'm going to put it in 20. Same thing for number 20. Close master view. And here you've got something that is more presentable. There you go. And you can choose to um, you can choose a different um, font or whatever color, whatever you want. If you want, you can even add a hyperlink. So why not? Slide, slide master. Let's zoom in. And then I'm going to select the whole thing, insert hyperlink, and then I'm going to. take something like that target this is the addictive knowledge YouTube channel apply and close close master view so if I click on here these are the real slides here if I click you can see it's not it's in blue so I have to change that one as well I can go so your visitor your reader can visit uh, the link you'd like them to to visit let's go back to master slide as you can see i've done many things many times the same click 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 view master slide master it would be more intelligent to create um, a keyboard shortcut i've talked them about them again on other um tutorials so view master slide master and then let's imagine that you want to make something else appear on every slide such as a logo of your of your um, what's it called a university or company or whatever so you can very simply insert a picture going to insert a picture I'm going to reduce it like that and then I'm going to put it on the top right corner of course I would prefer to do alignment right and alignment top instead of doing it with my mouse close master view and you've got it up here 
on each slide. And last thing we're gonna th we're gonna talk about is how you can change the background. So well, let's go back to the first um, template. So if I do right click, or we can do it doesn't matter to right click, but uh, right click slide page setup, and this is you know, the width, height, margins, blah blah blah, and then you've got the background. And you can use um, a single color or a gradient of different colors, then a hatching or a bitmap. So marble, do something like that. And of course, I didn't apply. So I have to apply it by using the master pages pane. So there you go. apply to all slides and I've got what I need or of course I can go back apply all slides and have this thing so watch the next tutorial to find out how you can insert fields on your slide masters